Okay, in this second 3P lecture, I'll just be, I'll just be deriving the integrating factor because I had a change in heart. I wanted to make sure you guys would not be completely confused. So if you may remember from our formula, um, our integrating factor formula is y of t is one over u of t. It doesn't really matter what's the independent, what the independent variable is. So if it changes, it doesn't really matter. Where we have this formula, but like why? Seems so arbitrary. Well, we'll find out in this video. So, remember that this originally came in the form of dy dt plus p of t y equals q of t? Well, first of all, in order to get here, or oh, and remember that u of t is equal to e to the integral of p of t dt. So to get from here to there, first of all, we need to multiply everything by an integrating factor. So what an integrating factor does is it, al it allows you to be able to solve this differential equation and make it into something known as an exact differential equation. And I'll, I'll tell you guys what that is later. Um, basically what it does is it makes it a lot easier to solve using various techniques, including this one. So you multiply everything by the integrating factor. So this is step one. Step two is going to be multiply everything by e to the integral p of t dt. So now we have e to the integral p of t dt of dy and times dy dt plus e integral p of t dt p of t y equals q of t e to the p of t dt. Okay, so now what? <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? Well, actually, there's some there's a pretty clever technique. So by kind of working backwards, you can figure out that this is actually the derivative of y of t times e to the p of t, integral p of t dt power, where if you use product rule, first of all, so for here, use product rule on this y, on these, you'll get, first of all, dy dt times whatever's, whatever you didn't differentiate first. Because if you, as you remember from product rule, f of g, prime equals f prime g plus f g prime. So if this is f, f prime would be here, this would be g. And then we're now we're trying to find f g prime. So we have, we keep the y, then we find g prime. And when you're integrating anything in terms of, or if you're integrating, or sorry, you're differentiating anything e to the anything, so e f of x, you just get e f of x times f prime of x. So f prime of x, well, fundamental theorem of calculus, d dt of integral of p of t is equal to p of t. Assuming that there's nothing in the bounds that's dangerous or anything, but there isn't. So then we just get p of t. Okay, so hope that makes sense. Let me get out of the way so you guys can see everything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is replace this side with q of t e to the integral p of t dt. We're gonna integrate everything. So four, our step four is gonna be integrating the derivative of y t times e to the integral p of t dt dt equals integral of q of t e to the integral p of t dt dt down there. Then by the fundamental theorem of calculus, dt and integrals cancel out because they're inverse functions. So that gets us that gets us y times e to the integral p of t dt 
that's equal to integral of q of t or q q times e to the integral p of t dt so then now we could just divide it divide everything by this here so we have y equals 1 over e to the integral p of t dt times integral q e to the integral p of t dt dt down here and then as we remember our original integrating factor was just u of t so we can just replace all of those we can just replace all that with u so we get 1 of u of t integral of q of t times u of t dt and that's the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video